Uh, good afternoon. This again is Dr. Bill Wide with the American Orthodontic Society, and uh, I wanted to talk to you just a little bit. This is a very short video on how to remove bonded blocks. I think we've got a video on how to put them on there, but uh, maybe people don't know how to take them off, and they're a little concerned about removing them. I had a an orthodontist several years ago came and took a course that I had and he and I got to know him and he said he came just to find out how to get these blocks off so one thing you don't do when you use these bonded blocks is make them out of composite and I think I've got a video on that I mean you can't get them off I mean you have to grind them down and and uh, it it is it takes you a long time, but we make them out of just uh, light cured acrylic, and uh, we just clean the teeth off and very little etching of the occlusal surface, and you don't have to bond the block. Uh, I thought at one time you had to take the block and go out on the side and come over like that, but you don't have to do that at all. You just go straight up on the tooth like this and just bond it up here and then let the person close their teeth on it in the jaw position that you want and you've got their indentation of the cusp and everything in this bonded block. And I'll show you how we're going to... Uh, I take them off and I don't have any problem taking them off. And this is just plain light cured acrylic and uh, the special people that sell it and the one I was using you etch the tooth and then you put a little bit of this liquid with the same chemical on the tooth and now you take a piece of this uh, light cured acrylic just roll it out in a little kind of a pencil like thing and lay it on top of the tooth like this and then just flatten it out and you can just cut it off or trim it or however you want to and then you don't need to lock it on the sides of the tooth at all I've never had one come off on its own and then in a minute here I'll show you how we take them off you know we remove them so uh, they're very useful I use them in high angle cases you put the block in the posterior part of the mouth and it keeps the teeth down while you use your intruding arches to lower the upper, uh, lower, to take the upper, uh, or the anterior teeth, the upper and the lower to intrude them without raising the molars. And if you put this block on there, they will chew uh, and press that down and I've actually closed the GOGNTA it's in by just putting these blocks on and you open the bite deadly and actually close its skeleton a little bit so that's hard to do and so when you're dealing with a high angle case boy you use these blocks now a low angle case that you want to open you put the blocks up in the front part of the mouth and just keep the mouth open. And then as you intrude the teeth or whatever you're doing, uh, the posterior teeth will erupt together. And as they erupt together, that increases the vertical dimension of the face quite efficiently. And so we can make people look better with these low angle cases where it looks like their chin's going to touch their nose up here. I like that. So, anyway, uh, the blocks are very, very useful. And uh, I use them, or did use them, all the time. I mean, we uh, did lots of things with removable uh, bonded blocks, especially bad cross bites and things of that nature. You can see them in the different videos that you use and we you need to know how to take them off 
And, of course, you need to know how to put them on to start with and where you put them. But as a rule, high angle cases, in other words, people with a long lower third of the face, boy, you have to be careful with those people. So you put these blocks on the posterior for them. People with a low, this is the short anterior part of the mouth, uh, we've got some cases we've shown that where we put the blocks up here, then you separate the posterior teeth and they move together. So let's get on with this. I won't we'll talk too much about, about that. Now this is a case we're using a occipital headgear and we've got it pulling. We're elevating these teeth with the occipital and this comes in like that and the the bows for this would be out, uh, kind of, the hooks are out along about this area right here. So it's basically picking up these teeth. And this is the one we've extracted. Uh, this young lady wanted these teeth out, and I think we've got a video about extracting teeth where we uh, used her. Uh, we've just taken a, a palatal separator out took the bands off of these teeth and then removed the first bicuspids right here. And uh, so we're going to, uh, we've used the blocks on the bottom and we're through with them and we're ready to take them off. Now these are made out of this light cured acrylic with a little of that liquid on the teeth. We etch the teeth just a small amount and then put these on there in kind of a get a piece of it rolled out by like a pencil, put on there and press it down and let them close together in the position you want them to and stop them where you want them and you leave it, you know, a couple of millimeters thick or you uh, can do it more. And uh, that causes the people to bite your teeth together. Uh, this is in there and they just Press down on that. High angle cases or not. And then you use your intruding arches uh, off of these teeth come out here to level this. And it will not raise these posterior teeth up. And so you don't open the bite skeletally while you're opening it dentally. That's, uh, uh, I know you... Folks that have been into orthodontics for a while, you understand that, but maybe if you haven't, that will sound crazy to you. Okay, now here's what we do. When we get ready to take these blocks off, we get a kind of a barrel-shaped burr, you know, something uh, like this coming off up here. And we go right down the center of the block, and just grind it out. Of course, this is a suction tube. It's picking up all the junk and carrying it off. And you cut a groove in this. You can see through the uh, tooth colored stuff. And when you get tooth close to the tooth, if you don't see it, you'll feel it immediately. And so you just stay off the teeth, but you grind a groove right down the middle of this bonded block with this kind of a barrel shaped burr and it cuts a pretty good uh, deal down there and you can open it up and you go all the way with that uh, let's see what this the next picture here we we've got this groove now cut all the way out in here and you get close to the tooth you can actually see it and you stop there and leave just that thin coat of that now this stuff has a give to it when you when you squeeze it 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 gives a certain amount and so we we come in with a pair of pliers that kind of got some like a tooth at the end here and we press it together out here and uh, the one side or the other will give on it without being discomfort, uh, a lot of discomfort to the person uh, where you're taking that off. And uh, as we press together, 
This thing will kind of dig into the side of it. You can get out a little better than that. And you press it. Both sides get weakened with this. The weakest one will come loose. And then we just mash it. And that will come loose. And you see the uh, block is coming loose right down here. I'm going to raise that so you can uh, see the crack. It's coming loose. So you see how this is closing up right here. So you go ahead and press it too, and you can just take this out in one chunk. Just just pick it up and take it out. Now you've got the, uh, the other one is still in there, but it's been weakened a good bit. And so, well, let me see, go back here. Now we come over to the other side, and we put the teeth on this. I usually get out a little further, and you just squeeze it. And when you squeeze this thing, it has a give to it. And usually this will loosen or pop, and then you can wiggle it a little bit. And uh, either a part of this will come loose, and then you squeeze the other and take the other one loose. But once this is off, you don't have much tooth or much of the fragment in here. But if you put composite on this thing, uh, Lord knows it just takes you forever to get the blooming stuff ground off. It, it really sticks to it. So don't think about even using composite. It's very difficult to uh, get off of that. So uh, anyway... We go ahead and pop the whole thing off, clean the teeth up, and you're through with it. And uh, here we're working with an occipital type headgear that I showed you a while ago. We had a, a, a palatal separator in the upper down here, and we put a large arch wire down here on the bottom. So we're expanding the lower one to keep up with the upper one, and we took these blocks off. we just taken that block off this picture's shot before we took it off and uh, here's the other side you see and we took it all off and uh, now we put some material in the upper so that we are working and the patient bites in here it's kind of like a retainer and we're going to close this space up on this young lady and uh, reduce her fullness of her profile and uh, we did that in this uh, previous video and let's go and we'll show her face here and uh, this is where we reduce the profile down on the other one that you could see so she's a very uh, much more attractive young lady with the teeth out on this case and this is the end of our video and thank you for watching it and if you haven't used these bonded blocks try them they really do a lot of things for you and you can use them in more different ways than you think and so i'll hush and we'll close this out uh, look at the other video on how this young lady looked before we it took the teeth out. So thank you for watching. And we'd like for you to join our little group and uh, subscribe to it if you would. We've got uh, over 3,000 people over the continent that are subscribing to it. About 3,660 something. And we'd like to get it up to 4,000. So thank you very much. And I'm going to hang it up and say good evening. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.